we have value beyond what any other person can comprehend. So it doesn't matter if you are somebody that um, collects recycling out of trash cans or if you are somebody that organizes major products or, or projects, I should say, or invents the next big thing. Um, we all have value at a certain level and every way that we add value uniquely is needed in this world. You may have just caught me eating in bed. Don't judge me. <laughs> Welcome to the Be A Boss podcast. My name is Angelique the Artist, also known as Angel. And I am here to empower people, especially my fellow women of color, to be their best boss self, to be great leaders, to be kind leaders, to be bold leaders, to be weird leaders, to be, um, you know, just exceptional, excellent people first, kindness first, just all of that type of good energy into being a business leader because businesses need them. Um, and I got a shout out, Lily, the author of How to Be a Boss, um, for inspiring this and for really being that person that's like about creating a positive work experience. Um, you may or may not know who Lily Singh is. If you don't, I'm glad you're here. You're about to find out. Aside from being an actress and a writer and a producer, she is, uh, she hosted a late night show called A Little Late with Lily Singh. And I went to a lot of the first season episodes um, and it was just like a really casual, like, I don't want to say casual, but it was like a comfortable place. Um, and people seemed like cool to talk to each other. There's a little bit of drama. It wasn't, I, did, I don't dip and dab in the drama, so I don't know what it was about, but you could tell there's little things going on. Um, and then the second season, they actually made a video about why they really think Lily is somebody that um, is incredible to work for and just the energy that she brings to the set is so positive and empowering um, and the way that she went about opening up the diversity of her crew including a lot of women a lot of women of color a lot of men of color just not your typical white tech guys you know so <laughs> it was just like people feeling comfortable in her environment and all of that um and I think that goes into being a good leader and I just think we should kind of glean from that example and share that with the world and that's really what I am putting this podcast together for as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of Lily Singh, and not just because she is fine, but because she's also really smart and perceptive and hilarious, right? So let's get into some things today. I really want to talk about um, recognizing the value that you add in a space. I think that's so important. But first, we're going to take this time to offer space for a sponsor. Do you want somebody who understands how impactful your product or your service is to share that with the world and to give you access to so many ears and eyeballs in a creative and fun way? <laughs> Then sponsor the podcast. I'll take a few minutes or a few minutes or so out of the show to 
tell the world about what you do and how you create value and all of those wonderful things. So reach out to B A W S E L I F E 926 at gmail.com. That is boss life with a Y 926 at gmail.com. If you are interested in becoming a sponsor, which I hope you are, because I know you got something out there that you want to promote, that you just need a little extra amplification with, and come on to the Be A Boss podcast. We got you. I'm playing. Come on. Come on. So today, um, I wanted to discuss recognizing the value that you add and I want to preface that by saying that we all add value in different ways we all consider different things valuable we all uh, see different things as maybe unnecessary or we all see different things as kind of commonplace um, or like expected or something of those you know, there's biases that we all have when it comes to value. But um, as this is the Be A Boss podcast, I really want to encourage people to focus on the I really want people to focus on the aspect of each person having, well, I want people to focus on the concept of each person having um, an untapped potential of human capital and human um, potential, right? And as such, we are value, we have value beyond what any other person can comprehend. So it doesn't matter if you are somebody that um, collects recycling out of trash cans, or if you are somebody that organizes major products or or projects, I should say, or invents the next big thing. Um, We all have value at a certain level in every, way that we add value uniquely is needed in this world. I'm going to speak a little bit on what I believe can help you understand the value that you add to a situation and also how to be confident in that. I believe you need to be aware that value exists in you, period before you can even understand your value, you have to understand that there is value in, you have to be aware that there is value inside of you. You have to be aware that there is something that you can um, craft from your own energy or something that you can pull out from yourself that contributes, that helps to support, that helps to grow or foster or nurture or um, guide, protect, build, all of these things that humans are capable of doing. You have to become aware that you are capable and you are able and you can. And once you have that understanding, once you have that awareness that there's something in me that I can, I can add value. Once you like are aware that you can add value, um, you then have to get a hold of understanding what that value is and how valuable it is. Because that's something that I'm working on myself. And I know it's something that a lot of people Um, that I've come across are working on. Uh, And I think it's something that you continuously are working on because no matter what level or height you reach, 
I think you get to a point where you're like, what else can I do? What's my next thing? What greater service can I be? What um, better production can I put on? <clears throat> Excuse me. What new experience can I offer people? Um, so there's always like, uh, how is my value growing, right? So let's talk about understanding the value. Now that we are aware that we have value, we have all taken that first step. You have value. Do you understand that? Do you know that? Are you aware that you have value? You have value. So let's talk about it, okay? And if that's something that you don't know what you're doing with your value, go find some videos on it because we're going to take a different kind of conversation. We're going to kind of take that next step conversation. But I want you to get that that understanding of yourself by saying like what is what is my value what do I add what do I want to do right go go do that work and then come back so we can have some boss talk okay go on back and have some boss talk understanding your value so I'm gonna make it personal because that's the only way I can express my experience right it's the only experience I can express in a way um so I am an artist. I have been building my artistic business um, since about 2017. Um, and previously, I had a lot of limitations on my ideas of how I was adding value with my work, how I should be compensated for adding that value, um, how I should be blessed or treated or um, cared for or regarded because of that. And something I've been feeling recently is just so much openness and allowing for receiving to happen in any positive way. Um, that's related to my artistic gift. And through doing that, it's helped me to better understand and to plan out how I want my value to be, um, I guess, structured or like how I want my value to be treated or approached right? So I've been working on my commission pricing. I've been working on um, event pricing. I've been thinking about the pop-ups that I'm doing with my friend um, and just kind of digging those ditches to get ready for the receiving of you know, the receiving that's going to come from me putting my work out there. Because like I said, I've been working and having this practice of allowing myself to receive when it comes to my artistic career, my creative journey, that I know with my understanding of my value and putting forward the effort and the footwork of presenting that value to people um, that that will flow to me more and on a more consistent basis. Um, so I think something that can help people get to that place or to further continue to understand their value is to, like I said, just start with small things, um, situations that reward you for what you believe your value is, right? So like people um, like your pictures on Instagram, um, and I don't want, and I'm, I'm being careful because I don't want people to 
associate um, value to Instagram likes or Facebook likes or anything of that nature. I don't want that to be equated. Um, but say you draw something, like you, you do something in a certain style um, and it gives a, a few Instagram likes and somebody hits you up for a commission. You then have the opportunity to perform in the role that you want to perform in and doing the thing you want to create artwork. You want to um, get paid for making your artwork, right? So you have that opportunity to do a commission. And now you feel rewarded because you posted on Instagram and then it got some likes and then somebody reached out to you for a commission, right? So logically, you would then continue to post on Instagram and continue to engage with people um, and seeing what ways that you can add value because social media is just such a, is such a mixed place as far as like energies and um, what people are projecting and putting out. So I, I want to be sensitive to the like, people's timelines don't look like mine, right? <laughs> I have a pretty finely curated timeline across all of my platforms. Um, but like you want to add something to your posts to enhance the engagement. Um, and that can be something insightful. That could be something funny. That can be something just personal that you want to share as a sign of strength. Like those things are valuable. Um, pretty much anything that you do as a person where you are sharing a skill or experience, that is valuable to another person, right? And when you can put that, put those things together, like the skills that you have and the experience that you've experienced and put them together in a way to present to people and share that to people, um, I just think that really helps out a lot. But yeah, this is the time that I'm going to present to you. Do you feel like you understand your value? Do you, um, how do you appreciate your value? Like, what do you think is the significance? Do you think understanding your value is significant? Do you think it helps to create a lifestyle based more in happiness when you feel like you understand your value? Do you believe that um, you, you can attract more abundance when you understand your value? Like, I just wanna know your thoughts, so put them in the comments, put them in the comments. Um, because I want to know. Next part of this is going to be um, featuring some conversation with a friend. Go ahead, sit back, relax, get your ears ready to absorb some deliciousness. Um, thank you for listening to just me um but now we're going to go ahead and introduce our guest hey mel hurry wait there we go all right, so welcome. This is going to be a wonderful conversation. I am so excited. This is my friend, Ray Mel Benley. He is an empowerment life coach. He was 
recently doing fitness training, was very successful at it, um, but he's now making a transition. And I wanted to have this conversation with him specifically because he really helps me to better understand my value and to understand my worth. Um, so I feel like he's gonna have a lot of gems that he wants to drop. But right now, just go ahead and introduce yourself a little bit and we'll get right to it. Of course. Hello, everyone. My name is Raymel Bentley. I am an empowerment life coach, helping people get into alignment mentally, spiritually, and physically to expand into the best version of themselves. And I'm excited about this topic today. Yes. Um, but as I was previously discussing with you before we started recording, um, this episode is about knowing your value, understanding your value, like and how you present that to the world, knowing what to price at, knowing how much time you should be spending on something. Because like I was saying in the episode earlier, knowing your time is one of the most valuable things that you have. And when you prioritize things, um, that's something that you really have to consider. So I just really want to know how your thought runs with that idea um, and just what you have to drop on us about understanding our value and being a boss in how you do that yeah of course <clears throat> understanding and knowing your value this is definitely an important and good conversation to have when I first <clears throat> got into entrepreneurial life I didn't know my value and honestly I was just really wanting to recruit clients so i just kind of blindly went through it. I didn't do the typical thing as like, especially when I started off, I started off as a personal trainer and I never worked for a gym. So I kind of did it independently as I was like getting my certification. I'm more of a hands-on learner. So I had to like actually try, like practice on like people. So I would ask friends like, hey, can I train you? I'm getting certified, which turned into people seeing that I was training and knowing that I was training we're like, hey, can you train me? So I'm like, okay. And I didn't know even what to charge. So I just did like a, a rate that I thought was okay, which was cool. But then I found myself when friends wanted to like have me train them, I would give them a friends and family discount. Yeah. And it really wasn't adding value to me and my business because I wasn't making as much as I could if I had like a just general fee that I was charging everyone. And that was just really kind of my on and off of like, okay, Remo, charge everyone the same, not a cool, okay, just give them a little discount. And I didn't realize that that devaluing myself was deeper than just me not knowing what I was doing. It was really me not thinking I was worth right. charging a higher amount because I never really had a lot of money. I worked basic jobs prior to making enough to pay bills and do those type of things but I never really made an extremely amount of money a stream amount of money so I was like okay well just if I charge enough to pay these bills then I'll be okay and that really wasn't a smart way to like really create a, a lifestyle from it but it was just like okay I'm in the flow I'm getting clients just make it happen and it wasn't until I started to honestly be around other entrepreneurs, other bosses, and really seeing, okay, we're doing the same thing. Yeah. And y'all like got this higher rate. It's no difference. And they would tell me like, you need to start up in your rates. Yeah. And a part of me was like, yeah, I know. I've been doing it for a while. I, I've got the knowledge. I got the skill. But a part of me was still afraid. I don't, it was, at the time, I didn't know why. I was like, why am I not going like in raising these prices and I'm still having this just minimum amount and then I started to honestly have to do a lot of like self-development work which Absolutely. you wouldn't even think that would come be like a factor in like the entrepreneur life but in reality that's the root because a lot of times how we don't expand in our businesses is that we have inner work and just things that we need to work on that's holding us in a just devaluable place meaning we don't know or think that we're worth anything other and you think like you don't really know in the time but for me it was when I started to do self-development work and do those things that I started to like nah you're worth this and charge what you are worth right right I mean all of that charge charge what you are worth because 
either you're going to charge what you're worth or you're going to charge to have that okay lifestyle that just making it and not having any type of standard but burning yourself out and just giving 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 and then people are like oh I'm helping with the business I pay you but it's like you're not paying me at the rate of my value that I need to sustain my lifestyle right and that's something that I've been going through um, and that you've been helping me go through with building my creative business and building my art business. Um, I'm putting together the I Spy Art Parties. And at first I was like, yeah, it's just gonna be like a hundred dollars. It's just like, I have all the stuff is only this amount. And then it's like this much for like me to just be there or whatever. And, you know, just like, I was like, I get like a little $50, but really I don't get $50 because I still got to pay to get there. And like, you know, it's like, you don't think about all the things that go into actually like executing the service and also what you need to sustain yourself. If it's something that you're planning on making your livelihood, whether that is right now or whether it's, in a few months or a few years because you're working another job and you're cycling out, still charge at what you want to be living off of. I think that that is something that people don't get told. And I don't, I feel a little weird kind of even saying that because everything I feel like tells you that, oh, you should start small, like, um, you know, build your way up or that type of thing. But I don't think that that gets people in the mindset of I am valued at a certain rate or like I should be pricing at this certain rate and then maybe I'll start with a discount from that rate but I know that this is what I'm aiming towards and that I'm going to go above that but since I'm starting out I'm going to start at a lower rate it's not like I'm going to start at 200 when I really should be starting at 2000, I might give a discount to 1900 or something like that. Or like, let me make the math a little bit <laughs> closer together. So say like you want to price at a thousand dollars, but you're like, mm, maybe I'll only price it at like 300. And then that's when you're like, start discounting from 300 instead of discounting from a thousand, where it's like, that's where you wanna be instead of trying to work your way up. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. But yeah, that's something that I'm going through as well. So um, I really do appreciate your insight on this. Thank you for um, sharing that knowledge that you had. Um, I don't know if there's anything else you wanna add or any well, I wanted to also say, too, because often when you go from being an employee to being your own boss, you think whenever we're applying for a job, we're always excited for what they offer us. And it, honestly, a lot of times it's like the bare minimum, it's minimum wage or a little above right. minimum wage. And even if you get like a higher level job, it's still not you having um control over what you can get in regards to salary you can negotiate but they're at the one the employer is the one that's really going to max out what the, your worth is so when you go into from being an employee to being your own boss you kind of have that subconscious of well this is what they thought i was worth so this is what i should value myself as and have whatever my services be worth of and that's where that really is going to be unlearning that. And really the beauty about being an entrepreneur is there's no limit to what I want to charge right? because I know I'm worth it. And I know that I invest in myself. So as an entrepreneur, as you continue to invest in yourself, because we often either try to do it on our own a lot and really not have that support, or we don't continue to learn just new ways to do what we're doing are new things that are going to elevate what we're doing that we can add as a different service because I definitely don't want to not say this on this podcast what I've learned is there's only so many hours in a day which means there's only so much money you can make in a day so if you burn yourself out trying to turn make turn, exchange time for money mm -hmm. you limit yourself but the smarter yeah. thing is what I'm learning is you create products and things 
that <clears throat> you already put the time in creating and they're just on the go and available for people yep. to purchase because that's when you're making money in your sleep. Yeah. I thankfully have my online fitness training to where I'm making money when I'm away. When we were in Murder Beach, I was making money yeah. while I wasn't even doing anything because that's where you think smarter, not harder. So if you're trying to burn yourself out, slave and trying to provide, okay, I got this service for this amount of hours and this and this, you're burning yourself thin and you're not having that time to truly enjoy this life that you're creating for yourself. Right. So really just think smarter, not harder and think, okay, what, not only what gift, but what gifts do I have that I can share with the world that I could, because I've learned when we're trying to just use that gift and use it for our own knowing and just purpose, right. that's where you're training time for money. But when you're sharing the knowledge of that gift and creating courses, subscriptions, memberships, and things of that nature, that's when you're serving the masses and you're giving back to others and helping them unleash something within themselves or teach them something. And that's when that expansion, that abundance yeah. starts to come to you. And that's where you're worth. That's for me, that fills me up knowing that I'm helping others, large amounts of people just become better, transform their minds, spirits, and bodies. Like that right there is an amazing feeling. And that's me just knowing you're adding contribution to the world. So it makes you just want to keep creating things that are going to be that for others. Absolutely. I love that. And I <clears throat> want to say two things. I'm going to say two things. So you wrap up here. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing is y'all need to bank your content. If you make any type of product, if you have any type of service, if you do any type of speaking, coaching, writing, any type of thing where you want to engage with people, give yourself the gift of your time back by building a set, like he was saying, like building a set of content and releasing it to people so that you can make money outside of your 24 hours of time, which really isn't 24 hours of time because, you know, we all sleep. <laughs> we got to sleep. Mm -hmm. You get sleeping at least four hours a day. So you got 20 hours where you can actually be physically doing something and then the energy at which you can do those different activities varies throughout the day so it's like give yourself that grace give yourself that capacity and this is shameless plug we do video content banking services so hit us up uh, well i i do i would say hit me, hit me up i don't do that but you do <laughs> hit me up i was just talking to carrie hit, <laughs> hit me up me or carrie up at stutterstyles at gmail.com i'm gonna put it in the little thing down here so y'all can see that um but yeah and the second thing was the adding your gift in a way that you feel like you're contributing right so i've been having um a lot of moments where i will send artwork to people or i will leave my art i'm like i like to do art drops um somewhere and then people will find them or people will reach out to me after they get their art and say like this came at a beautiful time like I really needed something to comfort me or this reminded me of a friend or um this just this just made my day made me smile I just you know a few times somebody has been like oh I recently lost somebody and this helped to brighten my day so I just feel like that's how I enjoy contributing to the world and, you know, right now I am in the process of um, learning to elevate and under or understand my value and understand that it's higher than I am working with right now. So, you know, we are, we're taking our steps. We are taking one step at a time. We are climbing the ladder, like Lily says in her book, One Rung at a Time um, and being patient with ourselves along the way. So, Thanks for joining us right now. Thank you for dropping those gems. Um, any shameless plugs? That I was going to say, have? speaking of gems, if you need yeah. some fashionable, energetic, different, I have Finley Gems, which is a selection of different bracelets that have different earth stones that help support you in different areas. So it's like walking around with healing on your wrist. It's the, just the only way I can explain it. And they're fashionable. So you can dress them up, down, 
and they are just available www.bentleygems with two s's.com check them out i will definitely <clears throat> love to see you rocking them and you won't want to take it off and also check me out on Facebook, Ray Mel Bentley, R-A-Y-M-E-L-L, -L, Bentley like the car, Ray Mel B at Gmail. And if you need some assistance with aligning yourself mentally, spiritually, and physically and expand and become your best version of yourself, reach out to me on one of those and we can talk. Absolutely. And you got to do it. At least slide into his DM. Oh uh, yeah, I have my subscription program. I definitely want to promote and hype that out. I have a line with a mind, spirit, and body subscription program. It's coming out in August and it's going to be a powerful, impactful community of people who are wanting to expand, who want to release things that no longer serve them and figure out what they want to do in life and make it happen. Make it happen. Say so if you believe it, you can achieve, can achieve it. it. You already know. Let's get it. I love you so much. Thank you so you much. Um, definitely check all of those things out. Get in touch with him in some way, shape, or form. You want his energy on your timeline in your life some way capacity. So thanks again. I love you. Um, and we might see you on another episode. I don't know if you feel open to it. We'll see. What's up? I like spreading these gems. That's why Bentley Gems is just going to be a movement because it's, yeah. yeah. So anytime, anytime. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then Sundays, we're going to be doing pop ups around LA. I've been posting. Well, you have access to Bentley Gems and Angelique's painting. So, yes, yes, yes. yes. It's going to be the spot. It's going to be fantastic. Um, so we all over LA, we all over LA, yes. spreading our light, giving you access to our gifts and just sharing energy. So if you definitely yes. are in the LA area, we will be having dates and times available for you very soon and be looking yeah, out. Be on the lookout. I'll be posted on my Instagram and on my Facebook, um, Angelique the Artist. Thank you for watching the Be A Boss podcast. Again, I would love to know your thoughts on um, sharing your value and what you believe and how you um, promote your value and how you offer your services. And if you have a service that you want to have promoted here on the show, please reach out to us at bosslife926 at gmail.com. Um, we are excited to see you here on the show, getting the promotion that you need to be getting to serve the people that need your services. So thank you. Have a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular evening, afternoon, or day, whenever you're watching this. This has been the Be A Boss Podcast. Yes.